Now, this is a situation of Christian whitewashing of history, world history at that. Now, in the order that they actually wrote them, you have to read from the bottom up. But effectively, in all the comments summarized together, the person is just saying that Christianity did not spread through violence nor as a tool of violence in order to conquer and colonize people. When we know that historically they are completely incorrect in that statement and even suggest that my video concerning that was racist and biased because they want this to be white, white, Christian whitewashed. Now they're saying that Europeans didn't go around conquering and colonizing and forcing people into their religion and even suggesting that I'm being racist or biased towards the people, the indigenous people to say that they were too weak to maintain their religion. This is a person who is neglecting to understand that the Europeans came with guns. They came with swords, had a tactical and technical and technical and um, uh, technical advantage over the people to which they were colonizing, as well as the Muslims did the same things in with the spread of Islam. So they're neglecting that when they came in, they enslaved people, they beat people, they subjugated people, and then the missionaries forced them into their religions. It is very rare that there was the occurrence where just missionaries alone went in and converted a people. The only instance of that to which he's trying to say that, and he's trying to use Ethiopia as an example in his second statement, is the fact that Ethiopia did not and was not colonized in the sense that most of the other other portions of the world were forced into Christianity. In the Ethiopian situation, which is a rarity, you had a Christian um, priest who shipwrecked in the Axiom Empire, modern day Ethiopia, and then got permission, went back, made his way into the courts of Ethiopia, went back to Egypt, got permission from the Coptic church to come back. And then because the Axiom Empire King uh, uh, Hazana wanted to convert to Christianity so that he can have better trade relations with Rome. And this happened in 330 CE. The whole point of King Hazana doing this was for better trade relations and to broker more peace with Rome. So there was a political angle for King Hazana doing this. Now, when you look at all of West Africa, all of Central Africa in its colonization, Christianity was forced. When you look at all of the Americas, Christianity was forced. Australia, Christianity was forced. Countries where Christianity wasn't forced were countries like Japan and China to which they could not conquer. But in areas of India, it was forced. So he's trying to whitewash, Christian whitewash this situation to make Europeans seem like they were just good little people going down and teaching Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And people just said, oh, you are so right. Why should I pay attention to the gods of my ancestors? Why should I pay attention to the gods that I've been worshiping my whole life? Jesus is the reason for the season. That is a whole bunch of bullshit, my guy, in order to make you feel better about the spread of Christianity. Because without force, Christianity would have never spread. I want you to think about this. Although Christianity did spread in the Roman Empire, it did not become the dominant religion until 381 when Emperor Theodosius II forced the Roman Empire to become Christian. And during that time frame, he tore down all monuments of other deities. He massacred and killed MDK people who did not agree with the orthodox version of Christianity that the Roman church was, was putting out. So therefore, even the Roman Empire was forced into Christianity. And then the Holy Roman Empire, after it, the physical Roman Empire crumbled, maintained its power through the Pope to force and keep Europeans under the control of Christianity under the banner of Catholicism until after the Renaissance and the Protestant Reformation started. When you research the different kings and queens of Europe, you will see that they forced through subjugation Christianity and whatever Christian doctrine that they desired 
towards their people, into their people. This is why the Puritans and the Pilgrims left to come to America because they did not want to be forced into the Anglo-Saxon church. So you don't understand your Christian church history. You might want to go research it. And when you do, hopefully you will awaken from the whitewashed Christian version that you are trying to perpetuate here. But for everyone else, always remember, you have to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable. Good journey, good vibration.